humankind has always had a fascination with the idea of secret societies. From the Freemasons, to the Illuminati, there is a certain allure to the idea that, behind the scenes of our everyday life, there are powerful forces at work, pulling the strings, privy to knowledge beyond our wildest dreams. They operate just under the surface of our civilization. Their motives and aims are enigmatic and inscrutable. One such secret society concerns a shadowy group of nine mysterious men, charged with guarding ancient secrets about the mysteries of the universe, and protecting us from potentially destructive knowledge which could be misused. Operating in secrecy, they silently watch, and accrue ever more potent secrets, all the while hidden from our view. These are the Nine Unknown Men. The Secret Order of Nine, or Novum Mordo Secretum, as it is known in Latin, was founded in ancient times, when it was realized that mankind was apt to use scientific and technological knowledge for the purpose of evil and destruction. The nine highest scientists on the planet at the time vowed to create a secret brotherhood, dedicated to protecting humanity, by keeping scientific and technological knowledge away from all people who would use it for the purposes of annihilation and death. The Secret Order of Nine, accumulated all the knowledge in the world, which could be used for destruction, in order to keep it secret and safe from those who would misuse it for nefarious ends. The Secret Order of Nine Scientists also further pursue research and knowledge that would benefit humanity instead of destroy it. The Nine Trusted Disciples of Science were each entrusted with a book containing all of humanity's accumulated and ever-growing knowledge in a certain field. The keeper of each book would add to, revise, and perfect it and this duty would be passed down to the select chosen few throughout the centuries. It is believed by some that the Nine have even unlocked the secrets of immortality, and have managed to retain their positions for eternity. There were to always be, only nine of them. No more, and no less. And they were to remain obscured from the world. They were to avoid all dealings with politics and mainstream science, and instead, they had to remain hidden in the shadows. In order to conceal their communications, the nine unknown men were said to have created their own language, which was incomprehensible to anyone outside of the order. They would serve as keepers and guardians of the hidden knowledge contained within their ever-expanding books. They have remained obscured from the world, yet always observing, witnessing the rise and fall of entire civilizations, never to interfere or play an active role, except in times when humanity was in dire need of help. The subjects of these nine mysterious books cover a range of topics, disciplines, and knowledge, much of which the general public still does not possess to this very day. The first book deals with techniques of propaganda and psychological warfare, the science of manipulating mass opinions and sculpting the attitudes of society at large which has long been thought to be among the most dangerous of sciences. The second book deals with the science of human physiology, an equally dangerous field outlining such things as how to create poisons, kill more efficiently, ways to manipulate pressure points, and indeed how to kill with a mere touch. The third book delves into the science of microbiology, 
with its vast potential to create and manipulate microbes that could save or wipe out mankind, as well as more beneficial microbes for medicinal purposes. The fourth book is on the subject of alchemy, namely the transmutation of metals, a power which is used to explain the sudden influx of gold which has led to economic instability at various points in time. The fifth book delves into the subject of communication, including methods for which to communicate with extraterrestrials. The sixth book is all about the secrets of gravity, including ways in which to levitate, and make anti-gravity aircraft like UFOs. In the seventh book, there is said to be a vast, exhaustive amount of information on cosmology and the workings of the universe, including allegedly the secrets of faster than light travel, how to bend space and time, travel between dimensions, and travel through time. The eighth book is said to be about sociology and is said to include the immutable rules of the rise and fall of civilizations, as well as the secrets of how to predict the decline of society, and how to stop it or hasten it. The ninth and final book is about electromagnetism, the nature of electricity and light, and includes methods on increasing or decreasing the speed of light bending light to one's will, and using light to create weapons such as lasers. Although the knowledge of these books is supposedly kept totally secret from humanity, over the centuries there are said to have been leaks, which have gone on to account for a number of scientific and technological innovations throughout history. For instance, it is said that the development of aeronautics and mechanical flight, the development of the atomic bomb, the invention of the computer and internet, and numerous medical breakthroughs, among others, were all the result of information from the books of the nine unknown men, somehow leaking out or being released to the outside world. Indeed it has long been believed that the nine unknown men intentionally release small amounts of information from their books at various points in history. They are also said to sometimes reveal themselves to those who they deem to be wise and worthy, in order to share portions of the secrets and information they have gathered over the centuries. Albert Einstein Nikola Tesla and Elon Musk, are all said to have received visits from the nine unknown men. In all of these cases, the innovations and genius they are known for were said to have been heavily influenced and informed by the secret knowledge kept by the nine unknown men.